Okay, this is the little PCB out of the AFR gauge that I've been using to control the temperature gauge on my BMW M3. This is the useless miles per gallon gauge that I'm going to convert into a wideband AFR display. Here we update the firmware on the microcontroller so that it knows how to operate the BMW gauge motor as opposed to the motor that used to be attached to the PCB. Here I'm using a resistance substitution box to simulate the various temperature points that uh, correspond with those that come out of the stock BMW temperature sensor. The center point is set to 190 degrees Fahrenheit and the maximum is 250. Uh, the lowest point is 130 Fahrenheit. Here we can see where I cut the pins off the back of the stock motor and soldered the wires from the PC board. As you can see all of the motors have pins on the back that are about one inch long and these engage the connectors on the stock PCB that controls the cluster. This lower motor right here is the motor for the miles per gallon display and that's uh, my next target for modification. Here is an LC1 wideband controller and a little better look at the, uh, the actual PCB from the original gauge. You can see here that the serial connectors on the LC1 and the gauge are, are the same and that's because the gauge was originally designed to display AFR from an LC1. This is difficult to see uh, but this is the software that we use to program the gauge and all those sliders what they do is they allow you to set a specific needle position for any given input and the gauge will interpolate between those points. The miles per gallon gauge markings are just about perfect for an AFR display. It starts off at the bottom at 8 which is pretty normal and the middle is 15 close enough to 14.7 continues on up to 20 and 25 which is pretty much the maximum at the top you have 40 and then the unmarked area could be a free air display.